Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew Blind Playthrough. Uh, we've got new stuff because we did a successful mission where we got a lot of research plus almost as much research by scanning some weird alien tech. And now we've got new stuff here. A better armor, slightly improved additional armor plating. See, we just bought the, the armor here, but then again, it's only 875 versus... 1250 it's still more expensive of course uh to buy the to upgrade from one to two than to just go from zero to two but oh well uh we might actually want more armor it's, it's very expensive though let's see systems standard shields what's new here ah reactor oh medical bay as well let's see reactor efficient reactor is it different? It's slightly smaller, it seems. An efficient ship reactor. While not particularly well armored, this reactor provides a lot of power output. Wow. Seven. And it's got almost half the health, so... Hmm. An armored reactor. An armored ship reactor. It doesn't provide a huge amount of power, but it's tough. This is, uh... Tempting, though. Seven. This is very tempting. Although it's half the health. Medical bay. Look at that. An improved medical bay. It's got a good capacity and an average healing speed. It's very expensive. We definitely cannot afford all of this stuff. So we've got the low emissions that we got last time, but also agile engines. Let's see. They're slightly less uh, hardy, but they are better at evasiveness. A powerful engine which improves ship evasiveness greatly. It is not particularly well armored and will leak a large amount of radiation when damaged. Now here's the thing, how I always look at evasiveness versus armor and I always in games prefer evasiveness to armor because armor, well first of all in this game it gets used up, but secondly armor will negate damage for a certain amount of time while evasiveness will completely negate damage forever until you have, you know, as long as you have power. Um, so yeah, these are definitely worth it. That's a lot of money to spend that we don't have. So I think for now, we'll, we're gonna go for a better reactor. We're gonna risk this by going to a uh, weaker reactor with a lot more power. It's very expensive. There we go. But I'm thinking that the extra power we can put into shields, you know, to better shield ourselves. Um, we'll see. Medical bay would be nice to have. But I think I want better engines here. I cannot get two, unfortunately. But let's get these ones. More evasiveness. There we go. Ah, we're out of credits, pretty much. Okay. And we cannot really afford armor. It would, it would be nice, but... I mean, we could get uh, some armor Mark II over here, but no. Okay, let's go to the mission. Uh-oh, eliminate champion. We picked up reports of Phasma champion Hubert Garrett near uh, Kuiper Belt Alpha. This may be our best chance to take them out once and for all. Look at that ship, that looks cool. So that gives you a lot of money, but yeah, that's probably dangerous as hell. But I like the fact that it actually gives you an option. Look at that. It gives you an option of uh, fighting the champion. Because before in Bomber Crew, you just had to hope to get missions with the ace present and have enough firepower and a little bit of luck to actually take him out. I think I want to do more of this stuff, really. Uh, clear enemy forces and such, because, uh, yeah. We've detected what could be a cluster of invaders near Uranus. The sector must be cleared out. This is no laughing matter. Yeah, well, we're gonna do these because uh, we need some more money, experience, and all of that. We received classified with there. Okay, the champion is here as well. So, let's see. Now we've got plenty of stuff. So, weapons. Uh, more weapon power increases the effectiveness of energy weapons. We're gonna keep that here. Increases the rate at which your shields recharge. So, not the strength, but the rate. Increases your ship evasiveness. Uh, so let's launch and see what our evasiveness is and how it changes. Uh, so we're going the... No, we're going the safe route. 
I don't know. I don't want to risk this. I'm assuming you get the same amount of enemies on both, but over here you get them spread out a little bit more. So 21% evasiveness with that new engine. But if we do this, what is it now? 31. Holy moly, that's really good, actually. Let's take it from shields and put it full into power. 42%... And that's not that's on a waypoint. With defensive, it's 52. Okay, that's really, really, really good. I think this is gonna be very, very good. Okay, so we'll do it like this. Uh two power in shields, one power in weapons, and four in engines. Alright, go. I've told you before we're never having gravity on our ships. <laughs> Ever. Charging for hyper jump power diverted to engines. Engage. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this game is fun. Enemies incoming. Let's go defensive piloting. 52%. Oh, that's amazing. Our route is Venus. Or Root, if you prefer. But there we go. Come on, enemies incoming. There they are. Get them. 52% <laughs> evasiveness. I love it. Oh, more of them. I don't see any troop transports right now. Oh yeah, look at that. They're they're actually missing us a lot. That is a huge change from before. Huge change. Of course, these guys are probably going to have an easier time hitting us. Destroyed an enemy fighter. Oh, this was so worth it, this new uh, reactor. I love it. I keep thinking that something is uh, coming from the engine cells, but it's just the RCS thrusters. Yeah, this is so much better now. Look, our shields would already be down by now. By now. But they are missing us a lot. Of course, they're still gonna get it down, but look at that. They have to go around now, and our shields will be recharging. Okay, let's do some... Why should I do focus fire here? Yeah, let's do focus fire for now. Why not? Focus fire, 100% accuracy. Look at that. Nicely done, Hex Demon. There's more of them. That's another one about to go down. Excellent. Nice. Now, despite the fact that they have 100% accuracy, that doesn't mean that they'll uh, hit every time, because, well, if the enemy gets too far away, it's still difficult to line up the shots. Something is going on. O2. And the gravity generator. We'll fix that just so it's not going to bother us all the time. But yeah, we don't need it. Oh, the evasiveness. I love it. Come on. Nobody hurt. Oh, this is a huge, huge change. I knew the extra power would be very useful. I didn't know it would be this useful. So yeah, we're going to go for full evasiveness build. Again, shield generator down now. Come on. Oh, he wasn't even repairing the... That thing. Oh, that was lovely. That was absolutely lovely. Ship armor didn't even get touched as far as I know. Let's see. I see no scuff marks or anything. Oh, this is awesome. This is really, really good. <clears throat> and even if the shields fully fail, we still have stealth mode. We still have recharge shields skill for Yogur. And Solosphere can call... Uh, can call fighters. Uh, Doctor Loco can do evasive maneuvers. Hex Demon and Alcove are probably gonna get uh, defensive firing thing, where they fire everywhere to scare off enemy ships. This is really good. Yeah, Venus. All right, navigate to Uranus. Enemies incoming, of course. So we're gonna go on to defensive piloting because that increases. It by 10% uh, evasiveness. That's really, really good. 
58 accuracy now for these guys. They've leveled up a bit. What about these guys? 30%. Not great, but they're not weapons officers. When they get closer and start going straight for us, we'll probably focus fire. Well, no, because now we're looking another way. I mean, the wrong, we're facing the wrong way. All right, where's the troop transports? I know they're going to come. Nothing on the scatter just yet. Oh, nice. Look at how much defensiveness is helping us. We're back to 100% shields all around. Absolutely amazing. This just made the game loads easier. Now these guys... Oh, they have to get into position before they start firing. Interesting. Look at that. Before those turrets come out. What's going on? They're not... Well, that one wanted to fire at us, but nope. <laughs> oh, I love it. And we've got these guys tagged. That's good. 0% shields on the bottom. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. That reactor went down quick. The hell. We cannot allow that to go uh, up. There's the troop transport. Come on. And I, once again, I forgot about the... Uh, I forgot about the guns. I know Nate Noob is not on the thing here. But I want to do evasive piloting because I don't want borders right now. Come on, get them. I think they're having problems actually getting into position. Look at that. I don't know if it's because of our evasiveness or faster speed or whatever. That's awesome. Oh, once again. No, no, not you, Dr. Loker. You need to pilot. Whew, that was a bit of a misclick. Wait, what happened to the lock thing? I mean, it's not it's not so important to log the uh, the pilot here. Oh yeah. Okay, Solosphere can go and uh, heal up a little bit. Just top up. Okay, that was good. Earth, the moon. Is that the objective? Uh, navigate to Uranus. Uh, yeah, because that's the Earth. The Earth. A noob can go and top up just a slight bit. Man, this game is fun. I thought it was going to be more like a bit of a reskin of Bomber Crew and stuff, but no, it's actually, there's a lot of new stuff and fun stuff. Off we go. Power. Are we going to get the ace here as well? There he is. Hello. Let's call for fighter support. I'm just going to get him for now. I'm not going to tag the others. And we're, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. He's going straight for us. Let's focus overdrive. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's still too far away. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Oh, there's so many of them everywhere. Where's my fighter support? Come on! Ah, oh, he's already... Shoot. There's a lot of enemies everywhere. Holy moly! Um... Wait, there's more stuff to tag. Where? Oh, holy moly! That's crazy. We need our shields recharged. They're recharging now. Good. Evasive stuff is still... Oh, no. They stopped recharging. Because we get hit every now and then. How long will the evasive? It's done. Alright. Go, go, go. Ooh. Replenish shields, breeze. Fly as fast as you can! You can't catch me, I'm a little gray man! <laughs> Come on.
Retreating to refuel now. Let's go stealth mode. Oh, that's really bad. Aid noob needs to go and heal up quick and repair the uh, reactor. The retreating to refuel, brilliant. There's a lot of ships on us. I don't think we're gonna get him down because he's got his shields back up again, so yeah. It's kinda useless now. Well we've got evasive maneuvers ready. And here we go. Jeez. There's so much stuff. There's troop transports, lots of them. Oh, ouch. No, you don't. They're trying to get to us. Focus is ready to use. Why don't you just use it? All of it. Use it. Get it. Oh, nice. We don't actually have to try and evade the troop transports now for some reason. They have real problems hitting us. Nice, another fighter down, and of course we didn't defeat the champion, but that's fine. That's so cool. Gravity generator is about to fail, we don't care about that. We're not using it anyway, we might as well remove it. Nice, they're destroying stuff left, right and center. Nice. Good job, guys. Come on, one more. See, they're having problems docking with us. I think it's because of the defensive mode, I'm not sure. And we're back to 100% shields. Excellent. Nate and Nuke can go and repair the generator and that stuff in the meantime. Oh, <laughs> that little piece there that was flying and exploded. Alcoff can go and heal up in the meantime. This is very low threat at the moment. Hex Demon can uh, take care of that, I suppose. Off you go. Our armor is still in pretty good shape. And there he goes. He's about to go. And... And... Boom! Nice. <clears throat> Wait a second, this wasn't even Uranus yet. Oh, jeez. All shields restored. Okay. Everyone in full health, apart from... I think Solisphere is missing a pixel or something? I don't know. Dr. Loke is a little bit hurt. He's got a... Bleeding finger, but that's it. Wow. We still have about half medical stuff left. Medical supplies. Focus fire is ready to use, and fighter support will be ready to use quite soon. Good. Please avoid the asteroids. Thank you. Oh yeah, we can just do this. Speed up. Ow! Jeez. Take it easy now and there's another one going! Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, ready to charge. We're gonna wait for the shields to fully charge and... Off we go. Uh-oh, enemies incoming. Go, go, go! We could get some more XP, of course. Actually, yeah, it gives you XP, not money or anything. Alright, now we have to clear the enemies. Defensive piloting. What's the point of patrol, really? Uh, I mean, defensive is a lot better because it gives you evasiveness and it's basically the same as patrol. Okay, we're gonna try some focus fire here when they get... when they go straight for us because right now they're not. And they're still far away. 
But the problem is our ship starts moving. There we go. Now you can focus fire. Do it. Nice. Two. Excellent. There's a troop transport. Two of them, actually. Oh, lovely. Yeah, on defensive, they are having all real problems getting into position for attacks and for boarding. That was one. Nice. More coming. Lots more coming. A <laughs> heck of a lot more coming. Let's see, everything is good on the ship here. Yep. That was the last troop transport there. We could call for fighter support, but right now I think we're good. Ooh. Come on, get him. I think we need some basic piloting soon. Upper shields restored. Don't need it, actually. I mean, yeah, the lower shields are uh, gone, but look at that. The evasiveness is just amazing. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get away from me. I don't want your tentacles. Don't want your hugs either. The evasiveness is also nice. I mean, the evasive piloting because it gives the shields hopefully time to, uh, time to restore. If they get hit once, of course, that's... Uh, forget about that. But look at that, see? That's really nice. Lovely. They're pretty much up to full. And they are up to full now. Nice. Still lots of stuff around here. Let's see the scanners. Nothing new. Excellent. Enemies going down left, right, and center. These guys are quite interesting. These are like sort of interceptors or something. I'm not sure what they are. It would be nice if you had a, a room where you can see all the enemy ships. What they look like. What sort of specs they have. Or what they're used for. The reactor is a little bit damaged. It's fine for now. But with this type of reactor, because it's weaker, I definitely... Ouch, ouch, ouch! Come on! I definitely don't want to uh, go below two-thirds. I don't want to risk it. We've got evasive piloting available already. Shields recharging again. And that one shot just... Uh, well, shut that down. So unfortunate. <clears throat> Come on, these guys are really difficult to hit. Interceptors or whatever they are. Because these are just normal fighters. But these guys... I like interceptors. Man, our shields go up quickly. I like it. There we go. Now they're going straight for us. Come on. Focus. Problem is, our ship is turning as well, which makes it a lot more difficult to aim and lead targets. Especially if I do evasive maneuvers. Come on. Even with 100% accuracy, they're having a real difficulty in hitting stuff. I can see where, you know, the reviewers of this game uh, think it's it's stupid how, you know, your people can't shoot anything. But that's that's the name of the game. That's, that's Bomber Crew style. And it, it kind of makes sense that, you know, it's very difficult to hit stuff. Even with, I don't know, computers that would tell you how to lead the target and stuff. Um, but as you can see, it, you can still do it. Oh, that was not all. That was excellent. All right. Alcove, go and heal up. And let's fix the, uh, reactor as well. So yeah, you can see that the turrets seem to be closed in. So even if there's no air, I'm assuming these guys still have air. These guys are out in the open, though. Nicely done, everyone. This is going to be a nice little pile of XP, money, and research. It's mostly money right now that we're after. Because we want another engine upgrade on the right nacelle. 
which is gonna increase our evasiveness even uh, further. I suppose Solid Sphere could go in. No, no, no. I'm gonna keep it like this for now. Because we're right here. Charging for hyper jump power diverted to engines. Engage! Power! Alright, we're back here. And of course, there's enemies incoming. As per usual. Now, if I go for the uh, for Venus, and if we bump into stuff, that's going to be bad while there's enemies about. Uh, yeah, we're only going to have 42% have evasiveness. And evading stuff in the... Uh, in the asteroid field? Oh, that would be a real bad idea, I, I guess. So we just need to get through this, and then go to defensive. Okay, where are they? Still not there. Good. Yeah. Oh, something's gonna go poof. Shield recharger is about to fail. Oh no. We need that thing. And now it can go defensive. And Hex Demon doesn't need to focus right now. Anything else in the scanner? No. These ships are cool. Oh. Go, 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 go. Get him. Get him. Uh, there's an asteroid here. Come on. Get them before they land. I mean, before they dock. Oh, excellent. They failed in that again. Aid move needs to go back. Come on. Excellent. Is something about to fail again? Yeah, that thing, but we don't care. Well, you know what? Go and fix it, because otherwise it's going to keep doing that uh, sound effect. And more enemies are coming. And it's just going to throw us off. I don't think we'll be able to charge in time. We have. Interesting. Four seconds. We could take him out, or we could just go. Wait, why am I doing that? We can just uh, charge. Oh, now it's taking a longer time to charge. Cancel hyper jump. Just take him out, and then we'll go. Defensive, please. Oh, there's two of these. Come on. That one's almost down, I think. Come on. Wow, they're quite hardy, actually. Quite beefy. Nothing else on the scanner, so that's good. There we go. One more. He's far away. What's he doing over there? He's supposed to be boarding us. Come on, then. <laughs> That's a lot of damage he's taking. Yeah, they're uh, they're having huge problems when you're on, on defensive mode. Very nice. Okay. It took a bit of damage everywhere, but nothing major. Armor still holding. The um Yeah. The, uh, the decals are a bit weird. The damage decals. But, oh well. The Venus. To base. I think this is quickly becoming my, uh, favorite in the two games. I mean, Bomber Crew is excellent. It's really fun. But, I have to say, this is a heck of a lot of fun as well. No other fighters as far as I can see. Focus, please, because these guys are really difficult to hit and to destroy. Because these are the better fighters they have. Or the interceptors or whatever. That's one down. Excellent. Two troop transports. 
Is this one to Earth? Yes, it is. So we can call for fighter support here. We won't need it afterwards. Yeah, there's Earth already. See, this is the problem when you're when you're moving the camera with the mouse with the right mouse. Sometimes when you when you let go, you deselect stuff, and that's very annoying because you want your skills to be at the ready. Our shields are holding excellently. Oh, more stuff coming. Power! Okay. We'll have Alkov uh, focus when he's on the side where you can see them. Which is not now. Wait a second. Yeah, that turret is down there and that one is up there. That's quite useful. I suppose I don't have to focus at the moment. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wow, these guys are quite accurate. All oh, these enemy fighters, excellent. Despite the 52% evasiveness, we, uh, they took us down to 40% shields. Disengaging from combat. Oh, they all do it at the same time. Immediately, okay. Lovely. Nicely done. Plasmid fighter eliminated. Okay. Before more enemies come. Charging. What hyper jump? Engage. Power! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, this game is awesome. Um, wait. Oh, that's not the final one. Oops. My bad. Next demon is a little hurt. He should be fine. We don't have time to heal up right now. Okay, for some reason I thought uh, it was already... We were already there, yeah. But these jumps take a little longer to get to the destination. Oh, here they are. Sorry, Hex Demon. Warning, radiation. And now they're going straight for us. And there's more stuff coming. And we'll be defensive. Yeah, he's not, not really hitting stuff quite as accurately on focus as you'd want. Although, it's pretty good though. Eh. I really like the design of these ships. They look cool. And those turrets that come up, that's really awesome. See, there you go. Oh, yeah, two autocannons going for the shieldless ship. Awesome. Nice. Checking the scanner. There's nothing else for now. Shields restored. Excellent. There's more stuff coming. More of those uh, turret guys. Oh, what's going on? I thought something was going broken. These uh, triple plasma turrets are cool. Look at that. Da -da 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 -da. I like that. Whoa. Ouch! These guys don't like us. See, they're not opening the turrets. I think that's most... I think that's gonna be a bug. They'll probably fix that, because that's a little too easy. Just stay on defensive, and they never really get to do their only type of attack. Nice! <laughs> Very nicely done, everyone. Going to heal up Hex Demon. Mirror shield's low. What do you mean? They're full. Charging for hyper jump. Power diverted to engines. Fully charged and ready to hyper jump. Nice. Alrighty. 
Man, this is a fun game. Really fun game. Alright, let's see all the XP, the money, the research, all of that good stuff. Firefly. Alright. Horse is cleared. We didn't get Hupen Garrett again, of course. Oh, secondary skill unlock. I like it. We're gonna not read that. We're gonna not read that because we want to be surprised when we actually check it out in the equipment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this and I will see you next time. Goodbye.